as you can see right there, someone wrote multiple copy on that sticker at the bottom. And unfortunately, the paper on the top of the slip cover on this tape is starting to come off. So one of these days I am going to have to repair it by getting a glue stick and gluing it back on. This tape is a formal rental from Hastings as you can see there and which that store no longer exists anymore. And Basically, what Hastings was, it was like a store where they sold um, DVDs, books, CDs, and all that other shit. And I think I remember when that store first went out of business. I believe it was back in either late January or early February of 2016. Somewhere in there. I remember one day around that time, me and my parents were going to Hastings, and right before we, God, I can't speak, and right before we left the house, my parents pulled out their phones, and they went on Google Maps to see which Hastings was near us, and they did find one, but on Google Maps it said that Hastings has completely went out of business worldwide. And I remember once they found out, they came to my room and told me that Hastings has completely went out of business. And I remember I was like, what the fuck did they? And what I did was I pulled out my phone from in my pocket, and I went on Google Maps to check and see if they did, and yep, unfortunately, they did. I remember I was so fucking pissed off. I have no idea why Hastings went out of business. I believe it was because they were struggling financially, so they decided to close all of the Hastings locations. I don't know. And it was pretty sad that Hastings had to go out of business. I have so many... God, I can't fucking talk! I have so many memories going there when I was younger. I remember I would always go there like... Every Friday or so. With my parents and I would get DVDs and sometimes CDs, which was pretty cool. And, you know, at the same time, it is what it is. There was nothing that I could do about it. And this tape was printed on the 37th week of 1995. The 30th week of 2002. The tape was kind of a pain in the ass to get out there. The 33rd week of 1995. So this tape is a 20th Century Fox Selections reprint.
I also have the 1999 DVD of this movie. And yes, I still like South Park, but not as much as I used to a couple of years ago back in 2019. I have gotten into some different shows ever since then. And I still have most of the South Park seasons on DVD. The only one that I'm missing is the 23rd season in which I do plan on getting that season soon. Even though to me that was a pretty weak season. But I will still get it just so I can complete my South Park DVD collection. The 17th week of 2000. And I know y'all were probably not able to see the week and year code that well. It's because the camera on my phone was having a hard time focusing. And I did not really feel like wasting this entire video trying to get the camera on my phone to focus. I just want to get this video done and over with. There are printings, but no print date on this tape. And which, who knows, this tape actually might have something at the end. Who, I already said that. Sorry for almost repeating myself. I'm not for sure, since I have not checked the closings to... Any of the tapes that I will be showing in this video yet. But once I am done with this video. I will check the closings to some of these tapes. To see if they have any ding at the end. This tape was originally bought at an unknown thrift store for 99 cents. On my birthday back in 2014, which was my 13th birthday. And which I actually got this tape off of eBay back in either late 2017. Or maybe even early 2018. Somewhere in there. Also, whenever I show the bottom of the tape and there's printings, if I don't say a word, that means there are printings, but no print date on the tape. I have never heard of this movie until I got it. For my birthday back in 2017. Not 2017. I meant 2018. But one of these days. I will give this movie a watch. To see what I think of it. The fourth week of 1993. This is a Warner Brothers Pictures movie co-produced with Castle Rock Entertainment. And oh, son of a fucking bitch. I forgot to read the companies that French Kiss is co-produced with. But anyways, French Kiss is a 20th Century Fox movie co-produced with 
Polygram Filmed Entertainment and Working Title. I can't fucking believe I forgot to read the companies that French Kiss is co-produced with. But, you know, we all forget about things sometimes. So it's not, so it's not really too big of a deal. March 5th, This is a part of the Warner Brothers Hits series. March 2nd, 1998. This tape was originally bought at Walmart because of that sticker on the on the front of the slip cover, but I actually got this tape at Goodwill back in April of 2019 as you can see right there. And this tape did come brand new sealed when I first got it, but it was already opened at the bottom. And for some odd reason, I did not take the rest of the shrink wrap off. But one of these days I might. I don't know. The eighth week of 2004. This tape is a formal rental from Movie Gallery, as you see there. As you can see, I met. And it actually says the date on when this tape was purchased from Movie Gallery. But anyways... This tape was purchased from Movie Gallery on... June 10th, 2003. You know, that's pretty rare. Most of the time, on the movie gallery stickers on tapes, it will not have the date on when the tape was purchased from there. Most of the time, only the blockbuster stickers on both tapes and DVDs will have the date on when they were purchased from there. Since someone wrote mom on the back of the slip cover on this tape, I believe someone's mother used to own this tape, but it's mine now.
July 13th, 2001. <clears throat> Someone named Kilma used to own this tape, but it is mine now. The print date on this tape is January 1st, 2005. So printed on New Year's Day of, the, of that year. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking. And also not to mention, this is a pretty rare tape since it's a 2005 tape. And I remember when I first saw this tape on the shelf at Goodwill back in late 2017, I just could not pass this up. I just had to go ahead and get it. Rest in peace to George A. Romero who passed away back in 2017. And also not to mention... I also know that there is a 1990 remake to this movie in which I am not for sure if I am going to get that remake or not, but we will see. And this tape is also a formal rental from somewhere, but it doesn't say which store it's a formal rental from, though. October 2nd, 1999. The slip cover is in pretty bad condition, but the tape itself still works. August 22nd, 1995. Excuse me, I burped. The 21st week of 2001. So this tape is a reprint. Rest in peace to Richard Pryor who passed away back in 2005. And also rest in peace to Gene Wilder who passed away back in 2016. The 32nd week of 1982. Just ignore both of those initials that are on this tape. I have no idea why they're on there. They were already on there when I got this tape at this one thrift store in my area called Hope's Closet back in September of 2017. The 51st week of 1997.
Sorry about that. I just had to get something off of my pants. The 23rd week of 2003. No, the 29th week of 2003. That's what I meant to say. This is a part of the family classic genre. And despite the fact that this tape has the slip cover for the original 1991 VHS, the tape itself is a reprint from 1998. June 7th, 1998. So printed two days after my 1998 Warner Brothers hits reprint VHS of Demolition Man was printed. And the 1998 reprint VHS of The Outsiders is also a Warner Brothers hit series tape. Another former rental from Movie Gallery. This tape is a full more rental from Hastings, as you can see right there. And also, this tape is THX certified. Along with one of my other tapes that I will be showing later on into the video. This is a Warner Brothers Pictures movie, and it's co-produced with Gaylord Films. September 24th, 2003. January 5th, 2000. Shit. Sorry about that. The tape slipped out of my hand. The fifth week of 1996, so this tape is also a 20th Century Fox Selections reprint as well. And I do have a couple of more 20th Century Fox Selections reprint tapes that I will be showing later on. And I'm not going to say that the tape is a 20th Century Fox 
selections reprint anymore because you know I don't want to repeat myself and also people will already know that their 20th Century Fox selections reprints I also have the 2000 DVD of this movie. I believe the week and year code on this tape is the 51st week of 1995. So this tape is a reprint. Also, I couldn't really read the week and year code that well because the ink on it was kind of ruined. This is a... This is a New Line Cinema film, and it's co-produced with Columbia Pictures and Revolution Studios. And this tape is also another formal rental from Movie Gallery, as you can see there. And this one has the date on when it was purchased from Movie Gallery as well. Anyways, this tape was purchased from Movie Gallery on July 30th, 2003. The 20th week of 2003. The 20th week of 1998. Now, that is it for the first stack of tapes. Now, let's move on to the second stack. The 25th week of 1996. May 16th, 1996. What the fuck? The camera was unfocused. I think it was because I had the camera focused on the last tape I showed and I forgot to focus it on the floor. I don't know. But it was something like that. Anyways, the print date on this tape is April 2nd, 2000.
This tape is also THX certified, and which I already mentioned that when I showed my VHS copy of the game earlier. The 36th week of 2001. I believe this tape was originally bought at an unknown thrift store because of that sticker on the spine right here that says that this tape was bought for $9.95 and which I actually got this tape at Goodwill back in August of 2019 as you could tell on the front of the slip cover. And I also showed this tape in my update video that I did around the same time that I got this tape. But I remember one day I was in Video Manager, which had all of my videos that I uploaded. And I was deleting some videos that I didn't like. And I also had the same video in the video's folder in the photos app on my phone and I was deleting videos in the videos app and the photos not app I meant in the videos folder in the photos app on my phone as well so I could you know have more space on this phone to make longer videos and I remember when I was deleting videos on both video manager and the photos app on my phone i accidentally deleted that video i remember i was deleting a lot of videos and i accidentally deleted the video where i showed this tape along with those other videos that i deleted and i was kind of pissed off I really wanted to keep that video up since it had a shitload of views, but I had to accidentally delete it. It's not too bad. I'm not too pissed off about it. I mean, it would have been nice to keep that video up on YouTube so it could get more views, but you know it is what it is. I can't go back and prevent myself from deleting it. I kind of wish I didn't delete it so it could get more views, but it's whatever. I didn't lose sleep over it. Four more rental from JJ's video. The, the 31st week of 1999. Uh, excuse me, I burped again. This is a part of the comedy genre. September 1st, 1993, although this is still a 1991 VHS, it's just a later printing. And the main reason why there's two pieces of tape on the spine on this tape, it's because when I first got this tape at Goodwill back in late October of 2018, the other spine of the slip cover on this tape came ripped. And so what I did that day when I got home from Goodwill 
is I went into the kitchen, I opened up one of the cabinets, and I got some tape. I forgot the brand of tape that I used, but I remember I got two pieces of tape and I put them both on the little flap that came undone on this tape. And yeah, as you can see right here, this is the spine on the slip cover that was torn up. The 32nd week of 2003. And I remember there did used to be a sticker here, but I peeled it off so I could reveal the print date. I also have the first Wayne's World on VHS as well. I don't, let me start over, but I am not going to be showing that until like part two or maybe even part three, not part two, I'm already doing part two, I'm at part three or part four. I am not for sure which part I will show the first movie in, but you will see and I know I'm kind of showing both of them out of order because I'm showing the sequel before the first movie. But, you know, I don't really care. I just want to show as much of these tapes as I can. So the order does not really matter to me right now. And also, this tape is a full more rental from a few video stores. The first one is the Video Center. The second one is Blowout Video in that one other video store. I can't read the name of the other video store that this tape is a formal rental from because it is blocked by the Blowout Video sticker. And this tape is also a formal rental from CVS. The 20th week of 1994. This tape is a formal rental from an unknown video store. And this tape came the same as my VHS copy of Anger Management, so I'm not going to bother repeating myself again. The 14th week of 1996. The 40th week of 1995, this tape also came with an ad, but I'm not going to bother showing it. The 36th week of 2002. I remember when I first got this tape at Goodwill back on September 26th of last year. This tape originally came brand new sealed in which I opened it, it up before I did my update for that day and yeah and this tape surprisingly has a print date and the print date on this tape is January 16th 2002 
1998. That's pretty rare for a TriStar Pictures slash Columbia TriStar home videotape. You know, most of the time, um, Columbia TriStar home videotapes and TriStar Pictures tapes don't have print dates. They only have week and year codes most of the time. April 19th, 2000. And you can't really hear it right now, but unfortunately... There is something in the tape. So, one of these days I am going to have to take the reels out and get whatever that is out of the tape. And this tape is all the way at the end, so one of these days I am going to have to rewind it. The sixth week of 1995, this tape also came with an ad as well, but once again, I don't feel like showing it. This tape comes in a pretty shiny slip cover, which is pretty cool. June 10th, 2004. The slip cover on this tape is a little faded, but that's okay. All that matters is the tape still plays fine. And also... This is a Hollywood Pictures movie, and it's co-produced with Curve and Pictures. Four more rental from the corner store. And it says right there, recommend this comedy to friends in which I have not seen this movie yet. So I cannot give an opinion on it. But one of these days, I will give this movie a watch to see what I think of it. And the print date on this tape is September 19th, 1997. <sighs> and the, and God, I can't talk. And the last three tapes 
after this one are the only George Carlin tapes that I have for right now. I am still missing one, and that is what am I doing in New Jersey, in which I do plan on getting that one soon. And also, the last three tapes after this one will be the final tapes that I will be showing before I stop for part two. The first week of 2003. And last but not least, here is the final tape that I will be showing for this video. Excuse me, I burped for the third time in a row there. And also not to mention, this and Carlin on Campus were originally a part of a, bo of a box set, but... I actually got both of these tapes separately off of eBay back in December of last year. So, that about does it for this video. Thank you all for watching. This is Trey Scott Media signing off. Peace out, everyone, and stay tuned for part three.